the National Hispanic Heritage Month in Western New York, and what better way to celebrate than with a little salsa dancing. And we're all excited for this Friday's Hispanic Heritage Council fifth annual Salsa for a Cure. Here to tell us all the details is coordinator Maritza Vega and a fundraising manager for Roswell, where the proceeds will be going to Mackenzie Giancarlo. Ladies, I'm ready to dance. How about you? I'm ready for it too. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's talk about this event. It's happening this Friday, October 12th. What's going to be happening? So we're going to have the, um, the Salsa for the Cure, which is the amateur dance competition um, where we're gonna um, also um, raise the funds for Roswell which um, is gonna go to patient care services mm -hmm. and a hundred percent of the proceeds is gonna go to to the patient care services that we are really interested in helping that cause yes Mackenzie this is the fifth annual event so they've been doing this for quite a few years now the fundraiser has gotten bigger and better every year how is this fundraiser going to make an impact with Roswell yeah we're just so proud to have salsa for a cure back for their fifth year They've raised over $12,000 um, for patient care services at Roswell. So that goes towards a lot of different things. We have our resource center, which provides free wigs for patients. Um, you know, even if they don't go to Roswell, they can come and get a wig. Um, it also provides information for families and patients. And then specifically, we have a bedside attendant um, program. So if you have a family member that, you know, needs to go take a nap, get a shower in, um, there's someone at your bedside 24-7 looking out for you. Yeah, it's amazing to think how many people can be impacted by this event and this is a fun event you don't have to be an experienced dancer yeah it's totally amateur we're gonna have four local um, judges of uh, people from the community from the Hispanic um, Women's League from the Bell Center and um, MNT, the OLA group, is also mm -hmm. going to be one of our mm -hmm. judges in the Buffalo Public Schools. We are uh, collaborating with the um, Puerto Rican and Hispanic Day Parade and the Pucho Olivencia Center, along with um, performances from um, Baila Salsa and also Sarah Hakel and Jerome Williams. They're going to be performing. So it's definitely going to be a festive event. How can we sign up and be a part of all this? Well, you can buy um, tickets online on our website, the Hispanic Heritage Council, WNY.org. You can buy tickets there. I have tickets. My information is also on the webpage, the Hispanic Heritage Council webpage. And um, you can pay at the door. It's $25 in advance, 30 at the door. And remember that 100% of the money collected is going to go straight to Roswell Park. Yeah, so it's all going back to such a wonderful cause. All you got to do is grab your little red dress and get ready to dance the night away. Again, where is this event happening? It's going to be at the Pucho Olivencia Center at 261 Swan Street and it starts at 7 o'clock. We're also going to have a silent auction and also a shared a prize. Wonderful. Ladies, thank you so much. We are getting ready for this weekend. What better way to dance our way into the weekend? Do you think we can do a little salsa dancing? <laughs> little Come on, ladies. I know you can move. We're getting ready for the Hispanic Heritage Council's fifth annual Salsa for a Cure this Friday, October 12th. We'll see you there.